So, you guys with girlfriends and wives and stuff, you get in a pinch and it's like, hey baby, here's the blade, you can do your makeup in that, you know what I mean? <laughs> Just playing. What's up guys, it's Ryan with iGoPro Long Crack Optimizing, you know, I do my thing. Um, but, like, playing around with this EMBSX down here, the Easy Lawn Mower Blade Sharpener, and it is really pretty cool. So, what I wanted to do in this video real quick was go over a couple things. Um, I really honestly believe I'm one of the first people in the world with this because it literally just came out and I got one of the very first production units. So, um, I'm going to run through some things as, you know, there was nothing for us to reference or anything like that. So, we are kind of just going through everything and learning about how to use it, uh, little tips and tricks, and little things that could possibly happen as you're using it and, and what you can do to fix it and all that kind of stuff. Uh, so, this is what's been going on. Uh, so, this uh, handle had come loose, the, the air trigger handle came loose on us. Uh, real easy fix, the Allen wrench that is supplied and is normally right down here fixes that. Uh, so you just tighten this side, you can tighten this side as well. Uh, so that is one thing, one little quick fix that we have done to our unit as that was wiggling around and then eventually popped out and we just got it back in there and tightened it down and that solved that issue for us. Um, so I was rolling it back and forth sharpening a blade and the wheel fell off. Uh, just put it back on using the same supplied Allen wrench. I really like how you have all the tools you need to uh, use it. So another thing that happened that uh, I had to consult the guys about because it, it turned out that I actually didn't have to consult the guys about it at uh, Norcor, but um, like right as they sent me over the solution, I had just got around to figuring it out because I just I sent it to them immediately, a short little video of, hey, uh, what was going on is I could tell this was still spinning down in here, and this was spinning at first, but then it started coming out, and then it like lost the connection in here, and you know, this was spinning internally, but externally our bit was no longer spinning, and neither was the holder, obviously, or anything like that. Uh, so what we had to do here was we simply needed to get a flathead screwdriver in there and turn that nut down. Um, I don't, it's not a nut. I don't know exactly what you call that, but there's a little groove on this outer ring on the outside of this. Uh, so this had backed out, was like coming out. So all we had to do was just literally just put that back in and then our bit has been spinning like normal ever since. Uh, when I did conference them about that, they said, hey, have you been putting the oil in the unit before each use? And yes, we have been uh, because I did read the manual and got you know all the information I could out of that. So just very simply, you just put two drops of the oil, which once again, they supply. They supply everything. Uh, so you get two bits with it, uh, the carbide bit. That bit is best for removing uh, more material like like we experienced the first time we were sharpening the blades is they had like a little hump to them. So we had to get that hump out of the center of the cutting edge uh, because we were doing it by hand. And this is a machine that's gonna make a perfectly straight edge every single time. And that's really what you want. Uh, so we had to take that hump out. So the first time grinding the blades did take a little longer than normal, uh, but once we figured out how to use it and kind of got in the groove, it, it's going to seriously save, save you guys a lot of time. Um, right when I was like towards the end of my grass cutting days out in the truck, mowing on a you know, consistent basis, um, I, I was getting really picky. I'm kind of a perfectionist with everything I do. And I was actually rolling my uh, mower up onto my gate. I was in a box truck. It would work on any kind of trailer gate or anything like that but I left like, you know, one half of the, the mower deck kind of hanging off the side and I had my little scraper tool and I'd get in there and I would scrape my deck in between stops because I noticed that I wasn't getting the lift and I wasn't getting that clean flush cut. 
Um, so that's, that's just one thing. You know, I, I think it's just as important to scrape your deck as it is to sharpen your blades. So uh, that's, that's one way to do it. You can potentially do that, you know, a couple times during the day, especially if you're mowing wet grass, weedy grass, tall grass, you know when grass cakes on your deck more than uh, it does other times. Um, another issue we were having originally was with the blade, uh, the, the cutting bit here, you know, obviously it is larger than the width of the cutting edge on a blade, but we were kind of having issues getting it to line up to the blade, going back and forth across it. And what we did was we raised this up right here. So if you notice that is like up in the air, it's not touching uh, the bottom of the unit and it's you know, more than likely gonna come touching the bottom of the unit when you get it in the box. Uh, another very easy fix, there's an Allen wrench, you know, female end right here, stick it in there, uh, loosen it, raise this up and down to where you need it, tighten that back in and you are good to go. Um, so, they are going to be pre-charging the units before they send them out. Uh, like I said, I got one of the first ones, so ours was, did not come charged, and we have not charged it enough. So the first time we were using it, we got maybe a half hour, maybe 40 minutes of charge on it, and uh, then we attempted to use it, stuff like that. Like I said, we were taking the curve out of the blade and all that kind of stuff, and the Wi-Fi uh, stopped emitting from the EMBX to the phone. Uh, so you can actually see what's going on on that camera. It is actually very helpful um, Obviously, especially when you're in the on the middle blade and then on your closed deck side uh, it comes in very handy but um, Yeah, still my overall impression is I, I really do like this thing. I like it a lot um, I think you know, I, I don't think it's for everybody if you have one lawnmower is it for you? Nah, probably not if you like getting cool uh, new stuff then yeah, but if you have a fleet of mowers three four five, you know 10 20 mowers um, You know this can save you some serious time and Just just make the blade sharpening experience more enjo Enjoyable because you're not you know taking the blades off putting them back on I, I Recommend using an impact if you do that uh, So you're not fumbling around with a breaker bar and pieces of wood and stuff like that uh, but yeah, so this is, uh, this is where you change the angle of where you are, uh, where this is right here. So you just move that and that goes up and down and you can match the edge of your blade, which is really cool. And then this was a really nice, well thought out thing that they did. Everything about this is really well thought out. But the wrenches that you need, if you do, uh, change your bit out. So this is the carbide bit. Uh, the abrasive wheel bit is for more fine touches and stuff like that. But if you notice on these uh, wrenches right here, you have the angles. So you just stick those in on your blade and it'll tell you what angle your blade came from the factory. Or you know, if you've been grinding on it like we have, um, it might be out of whack. But Typically, it's about 30 to 35 degrees is the angle on a blade and uh, kind of backs that up with their 30, 35, 40, and 45 degree. So um, these two wrenches are all you need to take the bits in and out. Uh, this is your camera and light. This is where you charge it. We have it charging now, like I said. Uh, we just We have not charged enough, so we don't have a really great charge on it or anything. But the last thing I wanted to show you, which is just when I saw it happening, I was like, holy freaking moly, that is nuts. But watch this. It is seriously like a mirror finish on these blades. So take a look at what it does to the blades when you got that carbide bit on it. So, you guys with girlfriends and wives and stuff, you get in a pinch and it's about, hey baby, here's the blade, you can do your makeup in that, you know what I mean? <laughs> Just playing. 
But uh, yeah, I really like it. I think you will too. So if you do get one, please let me know what you think about it. We're gonna have them for sale on igoprolawnsupply.com. You can get a slight discount if you are on our email list, the I Am Pro Club. So that's what it is. It's Ryan with iGoPro. And that is a couple details on the EM BSX. Catch you next time. Keep making money. Okay, let's leave these off for the moment. isn't touching that and isn't going to until we take all that back okay so Billy just had a good point and uh, this blade is actually halfway decent to demonstrate so Billy's gonna explain what he's been explaining to me as I'm like why is this happening and yeah I had my own thoughts but I think he is right on this so go ahead and explain to him what's going on Billy okay so when you sharpen a blade right um, when you do it manually you can see that it has that little rounded bump or whatever and it's not going to be the same all the way across because you're doing it manually so this angle here is different than this angle here. yes right so when you want to do it and you're doing with this new product that we have it's going to take off this whole back piece and make it all one level so it's all flat instead of this one being kind of like this and then this one being like this so yep. the first time you do it it's got a lot of steel to take off so it kind of takes a little bit more work after that second third time it's already going to be flat and it's already going to be there and you just run by and bring it and it'll be done so for us we're running into where it's taking a little bit longer than we expected and it's just because it's putting a new blade it's literally putting a new edge on this blade for us right right yep so basically this this part back here it, it didn't get ground that much like when billy was grinding these blades by hand yeah because this is not cutting much this into your blade is doing the majority of the cutting so this is where you're going to have all your nicks and all that mm -hmm. kind of stuff that you're going to work out with the hand grinder right. the angle grinder and that's why this is noticeably taken farther back right. as far as like curving back like this but if you look at this angle is steeper than this angle back here also so right. and another thing that he was talking about earlier is the, is the balancing that he he said he's he doesn't normally do but that's what this blade is doing for us is it's making this all together and then on this side it'll do the same thing and then you just find out if it's balanced or not and then you take off whichever one needs to be taken off a little bit more but keeping a good angle a better angle than we do manually pretty much eliminates the reason to worry about balanced blades recording Okay, so I just kind of wanted to show you what you see on the screen here. So I am all the way back, as far out, I'm on the tip of the blade right here. And then when I roll forward, we're rolling forward, rolling forward, and then we'll get to that little notch in the blade where the actual cutting edge stops. So that is what you see on the screen. So that's really, really nice. You can see what you're doing down there. You know when to stop, uh, you know when you're on the edge and just go back and forth. It's really, really that simple. So, here we go.